G'day, alright, we're here to today just trying out a new model. This is the new Formosa C Rod 580 Classic X Series. Um, previously there's been the standard classic model. This is the C Rod series, which predominantly uh, is due to ballast system and a full active transom. Um, based on the Tomahawk hull with an increase in the dead rise from 17 to 18.5 in this series. We'll go in in a sec, before we do, a couple of key features we've added to this. We've added an EBM mount, which is effectively for electric bow mount. But we also utilise the fact that this is really good for getting on and off a beach as we are here. Fantastic. You can increase with a dive ladder on it and, and um, get on and off the boat. Typical for most of with how they do produce their holes, they put an emphasis on strength and very, very clean welding lines. These are 32 mil rails, not just standard 25 mil, and they run a solid bowsprit with the load carried through the hull, not just in, in the front. Full welds top and bottom, as you can see. This one's got the hard top visor with the rockets, the weight tower, and the full um, setup for speakers. Completely folding if necessary. If you want to do get it in a particular size garage, it will fold down. Okay, internal features. Some really, really good layouts in internally, which I'm really excited about. What I particularly love in this series, the X series comes with the two side rear lounges, as you can see here and here. With the C Rod series, what you get as a bonus setup is the option to go not just one door, but two doors. So they're not a plastic door like the predecessor. They're a solid, what they call the full active transom. We've put in a center rear lounge in this. So effectively, I can turn this into one full U lounge right around completely. Um, stepping up as a fisherman, um, look, I think this is fantastic. On all their series, they run this only in the SR models. But you can see uh, from here, I can physically get out the back very, very easily on both sides of the boat and fish and we've got a hell of a lot of bait fishing here today so for me it's quite exciting thing to do. It really utilises a multi-purpose boat this. It's a wake, ski and a fishing boat so can really keep the family really happy with lots of setup. Um, I can pull in a decent sized fish here. I've got both sides to do that. Also, I can also, as a skier or a wakeboarder, utilize it both sides. Sea Rod uh, will put dive ladders on both sides if, if required, um, which you'll only get in this, this series. Another key feature, which is predominantly in all their models that they do produce, is the bait board with this one. It's got the live bait tank here. It's got the full rockets on the rear. Um, really, really good layout to put a few loose items like knives and pliers and stink things like that in there. Lures that have been in the salt. Um, full plumbing system that we can run through these, right through the tank. And they've got the full seal so you don't get that water coming out the base there. Really, really smart design. Effective with another tray at the rear. We've also added a full kill tank in this, this boat just lift that up and show you and access to it is very very easy if you're not a fisherman this is a multi-purpose boat so even a very very good option because you can throw your wet towels in there wet shoes anything like that for storage even your collies if you want to uh, get a double fill going out for the day okay on the seating more seating up the front We've got the full bow lounge up here, so a really deep, solid bow lounge with a huge amount of storage underneath it. But what's really exciting, the most of it is really up the ante with some really beautiful design seats. These have got the full bolsters, so I can literally use it as a bolster to lean to while I'm driving, which I do prefer. And for those who want to sit down, you've got a very, very good stylish lounge, it hugs the back. Very, very soft seat. Really nice little setup down below here. We've got some more storage, and um, we can use this just for dry storage. Or alternately, we can, if you are a fisher, we do run tackle trays. So we can run the tackle tray boxes in here, 
or run them at the back, whatever side you prefer. It's a really good little layout, just showing you there. I've got plenty of room to get in and around. It's very, very comfortable underway. I've got plenty uh, handling on the uh, steering here and I've got a really good eye view, which I like, on the water. We've got a couple of features which we've added here. We've currently got the new Yami digital gauge here, which is just powering up. This has got a full fuel management system in it. It shows the full display. We'll be using this at the boat show, uh, Brisbane boat show coming up. We're on stand 116. We've also got a VHF radio, a fusion sound system, and a Lawrence sound a GPS. One last thing which is probably the uh, main emphasis of the boat is the full tower and then we're internal we'll show you an external shot very shortly but what it utilizes is a really good little sound system you can run your speakers in here. We've also got some lights which we fitted in here and it's a full hard top. So just to finish on the Sea Rod X series really excited I'm here with Scotty Mann, who's the dealer principal for Marine Tune, and uh, we'll be displaying on stand 116 at the Brisbane Boat Show. So don't forget to come down and join us next weekend, okay, on the uh, 25th to the 27th for the weekend. We'll have a whole range of Formosa Sea Rod boats there on display, so yeah, come and check out and get a good deal.